So in this video, we're going to look at the updates we've made to the slide tool. Now, the slide tool is a super useful tool. You use it all the time when you're probably modeling. And in previous versions of Modo, and still it's under the edge tools. And it's very much an edge slide tool. Um, and you could also um, slide vertices if you change the mode to linear. And it kind of worked, but the tool handle was really weird. And it was a little bit hard to control, kind of a bit of an out-of-body experience. It wasn't, it wasn't perfect. So what I wanted to do is kind of split it into two very distinct tools. So an edge slide tool and a vertex slide tool, and then have them run based on the selection context in the same way that the uh, bevel tool runs. So when you're in edge mode, edge slide will be run. When you're in vertex mode, vertex slide will be run. Um, and this is what we've done. So if I select an edge in edge mode and now hit S, which is the new hop key for slide, I can slide an edge. If I'm in vert mode, I select a vert and hit S, and I'll get the vertex slide tool. And you can see we've got a brand new handle designed for it. So this new handle um, shows you all the possible um, vectors in which that point uh, can be slid. Um, and when you click on one of those handles, the other handles disappear, and then you can slide that point and when you mouse up, the other handles reappear. And select through is on by default, so you can kind of very quickly kind of tweak these points and reposition them and slide them how you want them. Um, now that tool handle is, is really adaptive, so if I, you know, if I move this to a really extreme position, now so you can see how it, it adjusts. And likewise, if I go to um, uh, that corner, you can see how it's following following all those vectors. Um, it also um, supports the other options in here. So we've got uh, stop at edges. So if I have that active, it's only going to move along the edge on that particular vector. Um, I can also duplicate the vertex and slide it along. It's pretty useful. Um, and it will also preserve curvature. So if I turn that on, you see here we've got a bit of an edge, a bit of a, bit of a corner. So now it will um, slide along there. When it gets to that point, it'll, you know, it'll try and maintain um, the curvature of the surface as it's sliding. So it doesn't, it doesn't follow the, the vector um, in the same way as before. So one kind of caveat with this um, tool is it wasn't really designed to work with multiple vert selections because I figured that if you wanted to slide multiple um, vertices, you'd use um, edge slide. But it does actually work. So here I've got four verts selected. It works better if you turn on preserve curvature. Uh, you can see now how it will actually slide those um, as if you were using edge, edge slide. I mean, it might not work in every situation, but you can you can use it. Mm -hmm.